If you're curious about the new earth, shifting into the fifth dimension, what does it all mean? Is it happening for you? What's a frequency? Are you gonna be okay? This is your video. I'm gonna share something with you that I have not heard on any other channel about the fifth dimension, why we're going into it, how it works. So get ready to be amazed and hopefully have an epiphany. Andreanka on YouTube here to help you break through the fears and live an amazing life. Woo, are you feeling it? Stuff shifting. Cray cray stuff happening. A lot of people, oh, it's scary. No, it's not. It's change. It's evolution. It's, it's awakening. Have you seen my videos? Watch them because I share with you what's going on. Now, did you take my shift into the new earth class? If not, go down there. I got a coupon for you. It's blowing people's minds. I'm getting positive feedback. People are so excited because now they're seeing everything very different because they're understanding why this is happening and how we can participate in that amazing new earth. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna share something with you right now that I don't believe I even said in my shift into the new earth class. What's the fifth dimension? How do we go there? What happens when the new earth splits? because we have this notion that there's a completely other earth and to the one that we're existing on now, what's happening here and do we shift over? Is it gradual? Yes, it's gradual and I'm gonna tell you why. Buddha did not become enlightened overnight. He did it through years of seeking and Christ went through phases too as a human. I'm gonna explain this. Because even those, these were awakened, amazing prophets that came here to do unbelievable things. They still came here and functioned as human beings. And that's what we're going to talk about today because all of us are human beings. We are in dense roles. We chose them. I'm going to talk as if you took my shift into the New Earth class and that you already know that we are purposeful nothing's chaotic, and that you participate in everything, and that you are the power of the one, expressing itself in absolutely everything it can possibly be, and that is nothing to fear, nothing can harm you, energy cannot be created nor destroyed, you never die, you've been a hundred and one things, well, way beyond that, limitless. All right, you ready for this? I think you're going to love it. All right, phase one, we're in fourth dimension, we come here, we're experiencing density, What's it like to be a human being? We can't remember what we are or else we wouldn't be able to experience this in the way we are. In other words, suffering and loss and all the things that we're doing, the density of human being, ego. And so the one has experienced all of that. Now everything goes through transition. Everything goes through a phase of evolution, learning, and then transforming and evolving into something new and then goes into a higher frequency and then goes into a cycle. Everything is born, grows, evolves, dies. But it doesn't really, it's just transforming. We're doing the same thing. The planet is. So it came into density. It explored all the worst of what it can be, all right, the lowest density and experience what that is, to know what it can be, to know what it is, because it is experiencing contrast. It cannot know its light unless it knows what darkness is, and that's all it's doing is exploring absolutely everything. It's just going and going and going, and you're part of that. So here's what's happening. We're evolving. So like anything that grows and expands and then goes into another transformational phase, we're now at that peak of the tipping point between the fourth and the fifth dimension. We are now evolving, evolving, learning. We kept learning, learning, learning. And finally, we hit a tipping point where everything that's out there, we're saying, doesn't work. Our jobs, uh, racism, you know, treat each other different, uh, our, you know, our, our illnesses, how we're treating animals. None of it is acceptable anymore. We've been waking up going from fourth into fifth. Now here's what's gonna happen in fifth, and this is the part that you may not have heard before. Fifth doesn't take you physically off of this planet. Fifth can do that, but then you'll evolve beyond it because 
a dimension that is higher is pure light. Density is the body. And this is just a low frequency, a low vibration that creates a body versus a chair or anything else. And so what are we going to do? We're going to raise our frequency. As we raise our frequency, we go into light. Our power of love, it goes into that higher frequency, back closer to what we came from, which we truly are, never lost contact with. So what happens when we go into the fifth? When you start to raise your own frequency, you will actually go into a different reality, still on the planet Earth, and here is why. We are now going to experience the next phase of evolution and transformation. So we keep going back like a flower. We're blooming. We are now in awakening. So what that does is fifth keeps you in a human body, that is going through changes, DNA and everything. It's changing, so it's not the same dense body it was. But you get to experience all of the amazing things on the higher frequency of miracles, manifesting amazing things, kindness, being the love and light to others who seek it out. We can't do that unless we remain in the fifth dimension as humans. Because when you go higher, None of that even exists. There aren't any problems. Don't even bother coming down here. We're human to experience the contrast. In the fifth, the pain and suffering we had, struggle starts to go away because we're creating those problems. I don't like this. I don't like your color. You don't like my color. You know, you're poor. You're rich. Rich people are evil, if I hear that one more time. All these limitations, judging, judging, judging. So we go in the fifth, we don't do that anymore. It's gone. So if you're still doing that, you got some work to do if you want to go into the fifth. So you go into the fifth and all of a sudden you're thinking, wait a minute, I love contrast because when we go up into what we are, it gets a little boring. I mean, it's blue skies all the time. There isn't a cloud in the sky today, but it rained yesterday. I love that contrast and I love the rain equally as much as I love the sunshine, but of course, you know, we don't want to have rain all the time. So that's what's happening. So you get to go into a higher frequency where you're no longer struggling and suffering like we were in the lower densities. You go into a new earth, a new earth, a new earth, okay? That's the key word, earth. Not off in the clouds somewhere. You're still on an earth. You're still on a planet. So what's going to happen? There may be a situation that occurs that allows you to do something great. But you will do the something great. In the dense world, we're seeing other, other people as a problem. And I'm going to be afraid. And I'm going to shut my door and lock it. Or I'm going to, you know, say something nasty to that person or judge somebody. When you go into the higher frequency, you see an opportunity. So there will still be things that go on contrast there where you can assist because as human beings, there's still, still some density where somebody may get in an, an accident or whatever. It provides an opportunity for you to have contrast to go and save them. And then they're happy and something amazing happens. That's the fifth. You're still a human being. It's the fifth dimension, the new earth. So if we went in higher, we wouldn't be on planet earth anymore. We'd be light beings going bing, everything's beautiful and perfect. And of course you learn on the other side. But we're wanting the experience of being human. There's nothing like it. It's really unique to the universe. And we are master students. We're probably the densest place in the universe. I don't even wanna say planet because there's other things that are beyond planets that we don't even see. The fifth dimension, the new earth, is an actual earth in a dimension where all of the struggle and things that we're now breaking through, right, that's here that's going on in the United States as of this video, it's all good. No tolerance anymore. And we're not going to fight fire with fire. Instead of the old days when we would battle it and then they battle it and then, of course, everybody's wrong. But we're not doing that. We're saying we're going to hold fast as a community because we realize now we do need the community. I usually don't use the N word on here. Need is usually not a good word because we, we have everything. But as a collective human species, species, we do need one another to accelerate, to have a vote 
of the planet to yes, go the, you know to this new earth and we have a tipping point. Now, not everybody's gonna do that. People will choose to stay in it. I, I know when I read your comments, who's there and who's not. And I know some people that are thinking, wait a minute, I actually am in the fifth dimension because my life is completely different and things are still showing up. I see them. I'm no longer reacting to them negatively and I am the cause for change. And we're gonna keep going higher and higher and higher till these things are gonna to start to dissolve that don't work. The corruption in government, finances, uh, our relationships with one another, uh, how everything is handled with our homeless people, with everything, all of it, poverty, everything that you can imagine. We're going to shift into something completely different because we're going to wake in state and we will not live that way. Those of you going to jobs saying, oh, well, I have to go and make money. Oh, it's going to take some effort. You're going to have to take some effort. You guys have seen this. I have a lot of students here. I have people that are creating amazing businesses online. Oh, we're having so much fun. It isn't funny. I have a yoga instructor. He's online. He's absolutely gorgeous. And then I have somebody selling Italian uh, goods uh, from straight from Italy that treats animals well and has no junk in it. I have another person that's posting stuff about what, where do you find holistic things that don't pollute the planet that aren't you know loaded with chemicals? Here's some sources. I'll do the research for you. And she has a website and she's an affiliate marketer. People don't pay for that. But they get to find out, well, for me, I was like, show me a good deodorant because that salt stuff doesn't work. I'm in Atlanta. You know, I don't want to use the chemicals. And she said, I've got a really good one for you. And so that information is valuable. So we're going to, as a community now, start providing services for one another. And they're always going to be on a high level before we were selling and shoving stuff in people's face so I can make money. But now we're providing real value and then we're receiving. We're being rewarded, but we're giving extreme value. Before a lot of people, they didn't care. You know, let me see. Well, take a look at my watches. Oh, they'll break down in like two days. But hey, I've got my money on a run. We're going to stop doing that. I'm going to provide services. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but the farmers here, we've got this whole community of farmers now and we're buying from them. We're avoiding going back to those stores. You have to make that decision. If you want to live in that new earth, that world doesn't exist anymore. We can put them out of business. And it's a good thing. They're not going to struggle and suffer. In fact, they'll be happy to let that go. That's not a great life for the people that run those companies and all the financial people. They're unhappy. They'll get to go into a world like, wow, I have to make a decision to do something that's actually good for people and the planet and ethical if I want to live this amazing life. You have to make those decisions. From everything you put in your mouth, do your homework. No more ignorance. You cannot claim ignorance. The fifth dimension is a human existence still with challenges that allows you to experience being human, but on such a high level that it is not the struggle and the pain that we have, have experienced before. The thing is you'll still experience, you know, sorrow, sadness, you're going to experience all kinds of things because, you know, that's the human thing, the contrast that we desire. And we'll get to have the opportunity again to evolve, to still learn. And you don't learn until you have a challenge. And that's what we're doing right now on the planet in a big way. I wanted to share that with you because I got this download what I, while I was running that this is the fit. What is the fifth dimension? What is it? What happens? Do we go to another planet? We're no. You're shifting into a different reality on a planet that all of a sudden is resonating on one frequency. Everything else, you're not going to see it. There's, you're going to witness a lot of things. You won't participate in it anymore. But you'll still be a human being. And that's why a lot of people think like, you know, we're like, oh, you know, everything boring. You know, when we let go of these bodies, we're going to be in that. We came here. This is exciting, right? Like, if you're in a race, isn't that the most exhilarating thing when, you know, somebody's coming up on you? It's like, I can hear their feet. It's like, I start running faster. And, and then we're neck and neck. And then I, I get across the line and yay! And we high five each other, whoever wins. That's amazing. And that's challenges. And without that challenge, 
we can't experience what it's like to go into that space of euphoria and you know all the things that we do here as human beings it's pretty exciting you know when something happens and it keeps you on pins and needles and then there's this great ending and of course in the fifth we don't experience loss it's not that people won't die or get sick or whatever that's going to create some contrast it's that you don't experience loss you don't see it as something, you know, evil and wrong. It's, we shouldn't die. Oh, <laughs> somebody died. I'm like, oh, hello. All humans die. You don't really go anywhere. I mean, like, you're not, it's not that you go to a different place. You're just, you're transforming into something. You might hang out here for a while in, in these dimensions. <laughs> This is fun stuff. And you know what's going on out there? I love that our community is coming together and saying, okay, we had riots, but that wasn't really, those weren't the people after the cause. There's always going to be a group of people who take advantage of that in a very negative way. And it's going to happen in everything, right? The financial industry where I came from. I don't know if you guys know, I was an investment banker for 25 years, and I switched over to do online businesses, took control and said, I'm going to, I'm going to choose what I'm offering people. I'm going to choose when I do it and how I do it. I'm going to own my own business. Nobody's ever going to tell me that I'm out of work again. We're, we're no longer handing our power over to people. Nothing wrong with working with companies, good businesses that make sure they are ethical businesses that respect everyone and that they're doing things that are good for us in the planet. And if they're not, you have to make a decision. This is your life and it's our planet. And if you're contributing it to in a negative way, you are part of the density, and you will not go to that new earth. It's impossible. That's a high frequency, and high frequency people, they make good decisions when it comes to what's going to happen to themselves and others. See, they're actually thinking about others. When you go into that job that you despise, if you guys have ever seen my commercials, I tell people, 85% of the people out there despise their jobs. I won't say the H, H word, you know, I don't even like that word, but they do. They going into their jobs. Why? Why would you work in something like that? Because we've been programmed to do that, right? Go to your job. Wait, you're going to quit. Yeah. You don't love, but we don't say, oh, you don't love what you do. We say, but you're, but you're making money. You're, you're providing for your family. I can't. I'm, somebody said, if I quit my job, I'll be homeless. Give me a break. Seriously? You know, I quit my job. It was my company. I shut the whole thing down. I didn't know what I was going to do. I got training. I planned for it. You know, I wrote my book. I have a movie. But that just, that's not going to sustain me. And so what do I had to do? I had to create income. But I had to choose something that was good for me. I was getting heart palpitations. That's the fifth dimension. You start to make higher choices. And so it's exciting. So we'll have communities of people uh, creating food for us, you know, and then we'll have artists. It's the other thing. The fifth dimension is super creative. Artists will do it for a living and get compensated for it. At some point, we won't be using money. We'll have exchanges of things, a system where we have exchange. But they will be able to be artists because they're going to be appreciated and we will give them, like, you know, if you guys see it, if you can see it, but see this right here? I bought that from a local artist. She's amazing. I paid a lot of money for that. Why? Because what she did to create that was so unique and amazing. And I saw something. It's so connected to it. I mean, just couldn't stop staring at it. That's so valuable to me. Way beyond, you know, buying a stock somewhere. And so that money that I gave her, I felt like I so was receiving more than what I was giving her. Okay, so everything you do, if you make things, so I have some of my students here in my internet training, they are making things. I have a 19-year-old, if you guys saw me interview her, I, I have a 19-year-old gorgeous girl creating her own clothesline, but here's what she does. She purchases clothes from resale shops and makes new clothes out of them to save the planet. Is that cool or what? And she tells her story. She has a YouTube channel. She tells her story. She talks about what she does, and she goes in the closet and shows you how to create things. So there's stories behind what we do now. There's a story behind what I do and how I wrote my book and what I do every day with you. 
We are now not just making money or getting food. We're now looking at where does the food come from? Who made it? Let's, let's look at those animals. Uh, I want to see a video. I want to see how they're being treated and the relationship between the farmer and his land and the animals. I want to see how that young girl created that design and why it's sustainable. And then I know when I purchase something that it's good for the planet. So I'm looking out here at what people are doing and I'm supporting that. And then I'm supporting those organizations that are doing good things, that are giving money to causes, vegan products, all these things. I'm telling you this is amazing. It's getting big, 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 big. If you are not a part of that, you will live in the old earth. Fourth dimension, money, going to work, don't love my job, exhausted. Hi, kids. <sighs> hey, let's send them off to school to learn a bunch of crap that's not even relevant anymore. People are homeschooling, but now they're doing it the way they want to. We're teaching people how to do this. Oh my gosh. That, this doesn't, the, the membership, I spent that, I spent that at brunch the other day. I mean, that's insane. But people don't mind, average $37,000 to go to the university and pay it off for 10 years. That's insane. And most of it isn't relevant. If, unless you have a specific skill or whatever, a lot of the stuff we learn is so outdated, it's not even true. Are you ready to shift into the new earth? The fifth dimension is a human being living in a completely different reality. It still has challenges, and you're going to see them as positive, like a fun game. You know, when you do the, the games, you know, the pinballs and stuff, how boring if it was just like, oh, I'm going to shoot it into the, you know, five star, bing, bing, bing. Like, no, you have to get, it, get through the obstacles. And it's fun, right? That's what the fifth dimension life is. And it's no longer torture and going on the level of things. We're no longer supporting anything on that low dimension. Fourth dimension, did you know that China now made uh, uh, turn the category of dogs from food into pets? Well, let's see if they stick to that. Also, did you know the U.S. government is starting to phase out farm factories? I, I can't remember the year. I think it's 2020, uh, 2024. I think is when they're phasing it out because it takes a while to shut this stuff down. Yay! Stop buying it. Do your homework. Stop buying it. Shut it down now. Because we can live in a world where it's okay if you eat meat. If that's what you need to do, go ahead and do it. But we're going to do it responsibly. We're going to do it on a high frequency. I'm telling you, you can participate in this. You have to make those decisions. And don't tell me it's tough. It's just because you're so used to living in a dense world. And it's easy. It's easy just to buy garbage and, you know, frozen stuff and chemicals and give it to your kids and wonder why all these kids have cancer. Hello, McFly. <laughs> hey, I'm going to start using wearing different outfits. People liked that video. <sighs> That's the fifth dimension. Does that make sense now? Now people are gonna go, oh, because they somehow they thought there was some other planet and we were all like little light beings. No, we're gonna stay on a planet and function on a higher frequency where your reality is gonna be totally different than somebody over here doing cray cray stuff. All right, so get ready. Do it in peace, do everything in peace. No arguing with each other. Get off those platforms arguing. That is low density. You're fueling that world, which means you're participating in it, and that's your reality. That's how it works. What are you choosing? It's tough. It's addictive. I know you guys, you're addicted to it because that's the contrast, and the contrast is addictive. We go into haunted houses and scare the crap out of ourselves. We even know it's not real. This is life. We know it's not real. We go in the haunted house anyways because we love to be scared and we know we're going to come out the other end. That's life. We're going into the fun house, the scary house. We know it's not real, but we scream anyways. <laughs> is that not really what we're doing? We know this is not real. We know I, I never die. I know that when I transform into something else I actually don't die the real me actually is yay free but yeah but yet we oh death 
<laughs> the fun house, <laughs> the haunted house. You know, you're coming out. Relax. It's still fun to be scared. I love those. I'm the one you hear screaming and laughing the most in the fun house. Uh, the haunted house. Some of those are really bad. <laughs> and they go to this really dark place and we go there anyways. <laughs> I'm sorry. I find all of this really funny and exciting, especially what's going on in the U.S with all of our peace rallies. And again, there's always going to be some splits of abuses within there. I'm so proud of our community coming together as one and trying to understand what others have gone through. And not saying, oh, you know, we're, we're now split again and my story and your story and arguing this stuff. No, it's like, no, I hear you. I see you. Because what I see is a light beam. That's all I ever see is light beams. And I see a student. When they're doing stuff that seems destructive, I see a student experiencing a lesson in the haunted house. Ah! <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready to go to that mansion? Man, I'm not, I'm not the mansion in the sky. We're going to still stay here. No aliens aren't going to drop down and pick you up and take you like a human being up there. Ah. <laughs> because unless you're in a higher frequency, you know, what's that going to do? If you're high frequency, you don't have to get a spacecraft to go someplace else. You can stay right here. This We don't understand the dimensions and realities. We just can't grasp that we can stay right here and actually shift into a completely different reality. Every thought is doing that. I hope you enjoyed this video. You are whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. As of this video, I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers. I'm shooting for a million. Share them. Please subscribe. Please send this around. As po You're allowed to post it anywhere. Facebook, anywhere you want, you can post this baby and send out the message that we are the positive change. We're amazing. You're amazing. But we're just one thing. You're whole perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Sign up for my free workshop if you want to create a business. We're having fun. Go down below if you want to do the Shift into the New Earth class. And I have a Shift into the New Earth workshop coming out. And hopefully in a month or so, when you watch this, it'll already be out. That's when I give you practices, fun stuff, blessings to you, my friend, and awakening. Namaste.